Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024, and I have been working um, all day, so I have not gotten out of my pajamas. I haven't showered, I haven't even, like I said, I haven't gotten out of my pajamas, so I can't do a recording looking at the camera, but um, I figured that I could at least get on here and do a tour of the upstairs of the house. And then one of these days I'll do a tour of the entire house when more things are unpacked. Currently we have, um, well, the upstairs is, is unpacked. We do have beds up there. We have put some temporary bedding on the upstairs beds, but we have not fixed your guys' rooms up yet, which we will do um, once we kind of have the stuff and have more time. Um, I would say that everything else in our house is quite a tornado. I would say the kitchen, we've been eating and kind of working out of boxes. Um, so the kitchen is actually that way. Um, so yeah, we've just kind of been going, 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 going since we got here the other day, which I was wrong. I think on my recording, I said that we had done everything in one day with the U-Haul. We had, we did move everything with the U-Haul in one day, but, um, I kind of squished two days work into one day. Um, and that was not true. So like I had said that we did the U-Haul on Sunday and unpacked and all that kind of stuff. Well, no, we did the U-Haul, um, on Saturday, as you guys know, I did a video on Saturday about the U-Haul. And then, um, and we also that day on Saturday, we did move everything out of the condo. No, we didn't. So on Saturday, we did the U-Haul. And then on Sunday, we moved everything out of the condo. Um, and then we cleaned the condo on Sunday night. And so it was a very, very busy day on Sunday. We didn't even make it to church. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we have obviously a lot to do. So there's the front entry of our home. And um, I haven't decided what we're going to do with this area. Right now, I currently have a desk set up in there. And I think it's considered a formal dining area. Um, but I don't think we're going to use that as a formal dining area. Because we have plenty of room in our kitchen. So let me turn some lights on. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll do a tour of the upstairs area. So... There is a hallway that goes to the laundry room, a bathroom, and the kitchen. And then there's an entry into our living room, which we do not have furniture yet. Um, we actually have a, a friend that we met at our church. She is an interior designer, interior decorator. So she is going to come over, um, I think, on Thursday. <laughs> Two. So here's the landing. I'm standing on the landing and then it goes upstairs. Um, she's going to come over, yeah, I think on Thursday, maybe sooner than that, and help me with some ideas with our furniture, colors, and things like that. I think I have an idea, but she also has access to good pricing. Um, oh, that's right. There's no, there is no, um, so that's just temporary bedding. There is no um, light. That's going to be a problem. So at some point we'll need to probably replace that fan with a fan with a light. But having a fan will be nice. And then I think this closet is a, it's, well, it's kind of a semi, you, know, you can't see it. It's kind of a walk-in closet there. Like I said, that's just temporary bedding that we brought over from... Hadid's um, house that we had had. So there's the upstairs landing area. There was a um, there was a TV there, but I don't I don't think we're gonna mount a TV there. I think we'll end up mounting 
a TV over there. Right now, Hadid's music stuff, and this is probably we'll, where we'll set up piano, which we have a piano right here. <clears throat> we'll probably set the piano up. Somewhere up in this area would be my guess. Well, it, most likely, yes. It will be here. And what would be cool is that the music, like guitars, um, Warren, I still have your acoustic guitar right here. So Hadid plays that from time to time. So he keeps it nice and warm and cozy. He's tried to teach me a little bit, but it's, he's a great instructor, by the way. He's awesome. He has so much patience. But I am lacking in the musical area <laughs> so much. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to try and turn some lights on. Um, all right, so... There's a bathroom. As you can see, there's the shower. <clears throat> and then I think this is probably one of the, I don't know. So here is a bedroom. Um, and then there's a walk-in closet. And then you come out of the bedroom, and that's where the bathroom is. I think Hadid is working on, oh yeah, that's right, there's no lights in here. And then there is another bedroom. There we go. Um, Hadid is working, let's see if I can walk over here, this closet. So this bedroom has two closets. Which is interesting. What I am thinking, and I want to get a contractor over here, is to actually put in a, <clears throat> in this room, this is another large walk-in closet. And I am wondering if we can put in a bathroom um, in here. Like a shower, probably not a shower and tub, but at least a shower. Maybe a shower and tub a, and a sink. And our toilet. I think it would be awesome. I think there's enough space. But we need a contractor to see if it is doable. Um, uh, I, oh, I was telling you earlier I could hear a bunch of ice. And I think Hadid's working on our water container. So our water out of the fridge is not working currently. Okay. So there is, there's our living room from up here, part of our living room. And then that is our bedroom. It's kind of messy. I have like clothes. Right now I'm living into the suitcase until out. I can. What'd you say? It works now. Yay, what was it? The water works, I'm super excited. So there is a fireplace. And then, uh, yeah, the master bedroom. And then down there, well, you can't really see anything. So, there we go. There that is. But anyways, our water was not working. I'm going to turn the lights off. The water wasn't working coming out of the refrigerator. I was so sad. But, um, because it's a nice refrigerator with a really nice filter. It's like a super upgraded refrigerator. So, I wanted to, um, I wanted it to work. Here's Hadid's. So, this guitar, it's really cool. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see the color, but it's like this. Claire, you would love the color. It's like this teal looking color. And it's an electric guitar, but it is also acoustic. It's like an acoustic electric guitar, which is really cool. He has quite a few collection of electric guitars. Because <clears throat> there's, there's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. <laughs> he also has some bass. So, Warren, I think you would like the bass. Actually, I think it would be really cool to teach Clara the bass. Um, girls playing bass, I think, is pretty cool. So, right now, that's my workstation. That right there is a heated blanket. <laughs> and I love them. Oh, you can also see my lunches there from earlier. 
which I didn't finish. So anyways, that's the upstairs and tomorrow or sometime this week, I will give you a tour of the rest of the house with a deed. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and pray over you guys. Um, just let you know how much I love you. I miss you guys. <clears throat> Father God, I thank you so much for Warren and Clara. I thank you for trusting me with this situation. Thank you for trusting me to be their mother and to be um, just consistent in my prayer life. Um, for Warren and Clara, Lord, for my family, for Wyatt, and for the situation. Father, I thank you that you are not a man that you shall lie. So I thank you, Lord, that you will do what you said you will do. Father, I thank you for shining your illuminating light upon this situation. Lord, revealing the truth to everyone involved. The truth of, Lord, revealing the truth and the lies, Lord. Let it be known. Let it be obvious. So that nobody has to go searching for the truth. That you just make it very apparent and very known. But Lord, as we are um, searching for the truth, if, if that is even necessary, I thank you, Lord, that you will illuminate the truth. So that we can see the difference between the truth and the lies. Father, I thank you um, for your continued mercy in this situation. Lord, I thank you that you love Warren and Clara no matter what. And I thank you, Father, for the fear of the Lord that you are releasing upon everyone involved in the situation, as well as Hadid and I. Lord, um, everyone in the situation. Lord, I thank you that the fear of the Lord brings us to a place of conviction, um, but also a place of safety and security in your love, your mercy, your grace, your forgiveness a safety and a security in the fear of the Lord. I thank you for that. Father, I just continue to pray. May your will be done in this situation over Warren and Clara's life, over my life, over Hadid's life, over our kids, all of them, Lord. May your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Father God. In your name, amen. I love you guys so much. I miss you. Um, there's my hand. <laughs> um, I miss you guys so much. And I hope that as you went back to school today, I'm assuming that you had to go back to school, um, that it was a good day and that you were able to enjoy um, your Christmas break. If you're still on break, I pray that you're able to still enjoy it. Um, but if you're done, I, I hope that getting back to school and getting back into the routine of things is seamless and um, feels good to you and that there is no conflict with teachers, assignments due, or friendships. I love you guys. I miss you so much. I'm going to give you a hug, but you just won't be able to see my face. I love you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.